Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Chesley McNeil. I know you're at home and probably have, well, I'll finish your homework. Well, how about a fun experiment for you to do? I got my friend Mark here, and you know what we're doing today? We're making simple airplanes, and that's what he's doing right now. A nice little simple paper airplane. All you need is paper, and you just fold that up, and this is very really simple. Now, they make jet fighters and all kinds of stuff, but you know, uh, do you think that will fly? I hope so. Okay, all right, we're going to see. Uh, yeah, okay, well, there you go. Now, you know, the longest paper airplane to stay in the sky is 30 seconds. Okay. All right, you didn't break, quite break a record on that one. Make another one seconds. here. Make another one. You think something like this would fly? I'm um, not sure. Further than yours, maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. Let's see. This is a new glider, folks. A little experiment for you to make this fly. Now, to do this, you need a straw, some tape, uh, a couple strips of paper, some scissors, of course. You make a couple strips, a 10-inch strip. There you go, 10-inch strip, and then a 5-inch strip right there. And then one goes in the front, one goes in the back. You tape it down right there. All right, make sure you stay safe doing it because you got scissors there. All right, now, the science behind a paper airplane would be the thrust and the lift, right? Mm -hmm. Your wings keep yours afloat for lift, all yeah. right? We both have the thrust. Now, what's going to keep mine afloat, maybe not for 30 seconds, but it will stay afloat, is because of the loose, all okay. right? Take a look. Check it out. Hey! Let's see if it goes further than yours. <laughs> and that's the science behind it, folks. Have fun making paper airplanes. Maybe better than my man Mark. Yeah.